Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then welcome and if you're back then welcome back. My name is Bree and I like to do videos on all things fandom related for Disney and Harry Potter and all things beauty, lifestyle and fashion. So if you guys are interested in any of those kind of things then definitely please click the like and subscribe button. All right, you guys, so today's video is actually super fun because this is my most highly requested video. Like to date, like everybody keeps asking me um, whenever I ask for suggestions on my Instagram page, which you guys should definitely follow me. I'll put it right here, my Instagram name, and then I'll link it down below as well. But um, I always put up polls for new videos and ideas on there. Today's video is actually going to be my fragrance collection video and I'm going to show you guys all the perfumes that I've been collecting. So fragrance has always been a big part of my life, especially when I was younger. You could tell that I was really going to love perfumes and fragrances because um, if you guys were with me, if you guys are watching and you guys are with me in elementary school, remember those incidents where I got into trouble for either wearing too much perfume or spraying it on people, etc. Those are funny. So if you guys are watching and you guys know what I'm talking about, then definitely leave a comment below. And yeah, it's super funny. But I don't want to go rambling on. And I'm just going to show you guys all the perfumes that I have in my collection. At least the full size ones that I have. And I'm not going to go into full depth like with the notes and everything. I'm just going to kind of explain to you guys when I use them, how much I like them, how often I reach for them, and what they kind of smell like to me. And I will definitely leave the full notes and a link to these perfumes in the description box below in case you guys want to check them out. And you guys love fragrances like me. And I'll definitely try and leave the name and the price that I bought it for up in the corner somewhere around here. So you guys, it's going to be really fun. So let's get right into it, guys. So first perfume, I'm not going to go in any particular order, but the first perfume that I have right here in my hand, it's super, look at this packaging. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this packaging. Okay, you guys, so this is Aura by Thierry Mugler. And I found this on perfumemania.com for a cheaper price than the retail. I believe I paid $75 for this full three ounce bottle, which is crazy. But if you go anywhere, it's gonna be at least 145 for this bottle for the three ounces. And it came in like within a week or so. And you guys, this is the most mysterious, most unique perfume that I have in my collection. So this one is classified as a green gourmand, which is kind of like a leafy, earthy, sweet scents because gourmand means sweet so I believe the notes in here are like vanilla, almonds, um, rhubarb, roots, a bunch of like green leafy things and mint. I can definitely smell mint in here but once it dries down like it's kind of in your face at first and then once it dries down it's like the most beautiful most unique perfume in the world and the whole line for this perfume was for a woman to follow her intuition and her calling in life so I would definitely let you guys um, have you guys check out the movie trailer for this perfume because it's amazing especially if you're that kind of woman who loves being close to nature etc I don't know I don't know how to explain it but it's a beautiful little trailer film as well so I will link that below and I did find this from perfume mania and it was $75 for the full three ounce bottle so again, you guys, this is Aura by Thierry Mugler. Okay, you guys, number two is another Thierry Mugler perfume. This one is one of their most popular perfumes, I believe, and it is super beautiful. I love it. It's a jasmine bomb. I believe it's classified as an oriental floral, which is like one of my favorite kind of perfumes, but um, it's beautiful. There is a little bit of sourness to it, which makes it different. All of Thierry Mugler's perfumes are considered to be unique, mysterious, and different, yet beautiful. Kind of like an exotic beautiful, I would say. That's why I love all of their perfumes. But this one, you guys, is one of their most popular ones, and this is Alien. Alien by Thierry Mugler. 
So I picked this one up from Nordstrom and I believe I paid $120 for the two ounce. I couldn't find this on Perfumania or anywhere that was cheaper because this is a really popular perfume. And this is, I think, his second perfume that they came out with, but it's beautiful, super different. It's kind of nighttime-ish, very strong. It lasts a long time on my skin, but it's not overpowering. It's definitely a jasmine powdery bomb. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good, but then there is some kind of sour note to it in there, which kind of makes it different. And it makes you think, like, it's definitely a head turner. And you're like, wow, like, what is this girl? You know, like, mysterious, stuff like that. So if you guys like that kind of perfumes, then I would definitely check this one out. Alien by Thierry Mugler. Okay, guys, number three is by Jimmy Choo. And this one I picked up from Ulta. This is the one, oh no, the two ounce, two ounce bottle. And I believe I got it for $80. And this one is Jimmy Choo's Fever. So this is a flanker off of the original Jimmy Choo perfume and it's, this is a little bit more of a nighttime scent so it, it has more woody musky notes in the end and it also has a lot of plum in it. So it has the original smell of the Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo except it's a lot more musky and sensual. So I really love this one. I wanted to have a perfect nighttime date night fragrance and I believe this is the perfect thing you guys you have to smell this in store and yeah so this one you guys is Jimmy Choo's Fever okay guys number four is this beauty that I've mentioned before and this is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl perfume this is the original not any of the flankers I don't really like the flankers too much the La Niche or something one that one is a lot more florally and a lot more fresh. I don't know, this one is a lot more sexy, it's more sensual. So I really love this one, you guys. It definitely smells like it could be a cologne. Like it's super, super, there's some kind of bite to it, but it's definitely more of a jasmine, a powdery, woody scent. And I believe there's like a coffee note in here, which makes it smell amazing as well. This one, I definitely want to make into my signature scent. I love this perfume so much and I picked this up from Ulta. I think this is the one fluid ounce and I paid $68. So again you guys, this is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Okay guys, number five is this one right here and this is Armani Cold by Giorgio Armani. This is the one for women of course. But this one I picked up from Target, it was on super clearance for like ten dollars or something it went on clearance three times and i guess nobody was buying it which is crazy so i found it and i picked it up for ten dollars originally it was like 65 dollars and you guys this is the i don't know 1.7 ounce i want to say but this one you guys smells amazing it's definitely more of like a unisex perfume it's beautiful sensual it's more like a fresh like you just came out of the shower and you put on your boyfriend's t-shirt that he sprayed with cologne and that's that mix of the fresh clean with the cologne scent so i love this one you guys this is the perfect nighttime scent as well or just a going out scent i would use this on the daily like that's just me but that's up to you um it's not i wouldn't say it's super overpowering because it's not but it does last a while on my skin and yeah, you guys, I really like this one. So if you guys want to check this out, I really think you guys should. It's beautiful. And it's the more like classic nighttime scent. That's what I would classify this as. So yeah, you guys, again, this is Armani Cold by Giorgio Armani. Okay, you guys, number six is Beyonce's Heat Seduction. So I found this on Amazon for like $12. I heard it was beautiful. I used to love all of Beyonce's scents before, especially her first one, the Beyonce Heats, which is the red bottle. This is another flanker, and this is like her most recent flanker. It's like a gold yellowish bottle. And this one, this one has a powdery, fruity, vanilla, caramel scent. It's like a mix of all of that. It's beautiful. It lasts a long time on my skin as well. So I think it's definitely worth the money and this is like the three three fluid ounce for $12 on Amazon. So definitely check this out. It's definitely a more sensual perfume 
um, I would say I would wear this to like a really nice lunch with your significant other. Um, I would use this with my girlfriends as well. That's just me though. Up to you. But beautiful. I think it will last me a long time. And I can't stop smelling it because it's so, it's such a good mix of fruity floral powder, you know? So definitely you guys should check this out. $12 on Amazon, Beyonce's Heat Seduction. Okay guys, number seven is this beauty right here. This is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. And I believe this is the 1.7 ounce. And this one is such a unique scent. It's very... Hold on, let me smell it. It just smells like fresh woods. Or I wouldn't say woods. Yeah, woods. Fresh woods. Like a fresh woody body wash. That's what it smells like. More of like a cologne too. It's not super feminine, but it's very sensual. I kind of, if you guys don't kind of see that already, I kind of like the more unisex vibes for nighttime because it smells so different and unique and sensual and I like that kind of stuff. So this one is beautiful. I'm the kind of girl that would use like any of this anywhere, but you know, just giving you guys a heads up on where I would use this for. This I could definitely see as someone becoming or becoming someone's signature scent as well because it's so uniquely beautiful. Yeah, so I did get this from Sephora and I believe that this was $75 for the 1.7 ounce. You know, I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely gonna link it here. And yeah, you guys, I don't know, I really like this one. It smells like a fresh cologne, body wash, um, after that smell lingers on your skin for a while and it just smells beautiful and warm. Yeah. So again, you guys, this is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Okay, you guys, next number eight is this beauty. This is Gucci, uh, Gucci Guilty by Gucci. <laughs> So this is one of their classics. I really love it. It's a super pink peppery amber smell. Definitely heavy on the amber and pink pepper, but it's very beautiful. I don't know. I like this kind of spicy scent. And the only thing, I love it so much. The only thing that gets me mad about this perfume is that the performance isn't there for me. It doesn't last on my skin as well. So I don't know if I will be repurchasing this in the future. I still have a lot left in here. This is the one fluid ounce. And I got this from Ulta. And I think it was $60 or $65 for the one fluid ounce. Super beautiful bottle. I love this perfume. It's just I have to figure out a way to make it last. Maybe I have to buy like regular lotion. Put on my skin with no fragrances. And then spray this on. Because usually that kind of helps with the lasting power for fragrances. But you know what? We'll see. But I do love this smell though. And again, you guys, this is Gucci Guilty by Gucci. Hey guys, number nine. I think this is number nine. But um, I think I'm going to stop seeing numbers because I don't remember what number I'm on. But you guys, this is um, Juicy Couture, Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. So I love this perfume. It's a definite caramel, sticky caramel candy bomb. Um, definitely more mature. Not mature as in like an old old lady way, but mature as in a more sensual way. It's not super fruity, floral, sweet gourmand like the original Juicy Couture. But it smells beautiful. It's definitely caramel. It's something I smell it all. It smells caramel, amber, vanilla. So if you like that kind of scent. And this one does last on my skin a while too. I would use this for like a daytime scent any day actually usually I would say more towards the winter because for colder months these kind of smells are perfect like the Gourmand caramel vanilla musky scents are perfect for winter time they last longer on my skin so it all depends on your skin chemistry guys but this one I found at Target and this is the one fluid ounce and you guys this is on super clearance this was like ten dollars too which is intense but yeah you guys so this is Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Okay guys, so next up is this classic beauty and her name is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So this is only the one fluid ounce. This one is super expensive, you guys. I mean, this is Chanel, so, but I got the one fluid ounce. I believe it was 80 bucks for the one fluid ounce. Not that bad, but you know, um, I love this scent. At first when I was smelling this scent, I didn't like it that much. 
I thought something was missing, like it was too fresh for me, too mainstream. But you know what, it's like the more I use it and the more after it dries down and settles onto my skin, I love this fragrance. It's super beautiful, classy, it's like the ultimate classy fragrance and I love it. I use this to spray in my hair and it lasts throughout the entire day. Super beautiful. If you're that kind of girl that is, loves classy things, loves being bougie, this is beautiful and I would definitely recommend this one. It's a definite floral fresh balm and it just lasts, it lasts forever on my skin too. So this one is, again you guys, um, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Alright guys, these next ones I'm going to mention at the same time because they're both Victoria's Secret perfumes that I got at the semi-annual sale and I didn't mention them before. But you guys, this is Love by Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret Bombshell New York Fashion Show 2018. So you guys, I found these for the semi-annual sale and they were both like $7.99 each for 1 fluid ounce and 1.7 fluid ounce. And you guys, these are beautiful. Only thing is, they don't last on my skin. If anything, this one lasts a lot longer than this one. This is very just like spray when you come out of the shower. And it's like a body mist that's a little bit more um to it, you know? But it's beautiful. It smells like fresh fruits. Like fruits. Fresh fruits and a bouquet of like peonies. And it's beautiful. I love it. It just doesn't last on my skin. It's perfect if you're gonna like just spend all day maybe like shopping day or something you just want to spray something it smells pretty it's a very pretty scent and this one you guys is a little bit more sensual but still just pretty i wouldn't say this is like a beautiful scent but it's a pretty scent and this is a flanker off the original bombshell and this one has a lot of more jasmine a lot more musk in it so it smells a little bit deeper than the original so if you like stuff that are a little bit more deeper this one probably lasts longer in your skin than the original as well because of its deeper notes but you guys i love it too and yeah i do love this one a lot more than the original too so if you guys like the bombshell but you want something more um deep more sensual i would pick up this one i don't know if they still have it though but definitely check it out and make it on sale so they were both um 7.99 for the semi-annual sale and again you guys this is Victoria's Secret Love and Victoria's Secret Bombshell New York Fashion Show. Alright you guys next ones I'm going to bring up two again because they're from the same um, house and these are both guest perfumes and I got these both from Target. You guys it's intense these two were five dollars each. Yeah I don't know how that happened but they were on clearance and I saw that there was multiple stickers on them and then went down to like $5. And I'm not kidding you, it was literally like $4.96 each. And these are both one fluid ounces. So I couldn't go wrong. I paid $10 or less, like nine something for both of these. And you guys, this is Guest Seductive and Guest 1981. So you guys, Guest Seductive, I'm going to talk about first. This one is a lot more sensual, of course. And I do really like this one. This is a more vanilla musky jasmine scent and this is definitely i think this is an only toilette yes and it, it's perfect for after the shower so only toilettes are supposed to be a little bit more light more airy than an only perfumes and yeah so this is perfect for after the shower like if you're gonna go i think this is perfect for like a movie night or or a date night even but i would use this for like a movie night with your significant other super pretty um light not in your face but it's very sensual like it'll stick on your skin so check that one out if you want to see that one and this one guess 1981 is more of like a powdery floral fresh so i'm just gonna spray this one real fast because i did it i forget <sighs> yeah you guys so this is like a fresh flower bouquet so if you guys are into flower bouquets and you'll love this one, I think it's a very classy scent. So this is up there with the classy scents. I would definitely put that in that realm. So if you guys like that one, um, check out Guest 1981. Alright you guys, getting to the last few. This one is Donna Karen's Liquid Cashmere Blush. 
beautiful bottle i love it um it's supposed to represent the curves of a woman and embracing her femininity which i love and this one you guys smell is kind of like blush suede but lighter a more fresher version of it so i'm just gonna smell this real fast yeah so this one is very powdery very it smells like what the color blush would smell like so if you're a blush lover check this one out i did get this from target and this one was i believe eight dollars it was still super cheap and the regular price was supposed to be 45 and this is the 1.7 ounce i believe 1.5 ounce or oh, one ounce sorry but yeah beautiful perfume you guys perfect for after showering if you're gonna spend all day like shopping or just like a casual it's very casual but very classy and beautiful so this is another beautiful classy scent that i love so again you guys this is donna karen's liquid cashmere blush okay guys so next up is this beautiful perfume and this is ariana grande's ari perfume super cute it comes in this little fluff ball the bottle is beautiful and this is definitely like a cotton candy sugar bomb you guys so if you love gourmand if you like the scent pink sugar from aqualina you will love this scent um lasts a long time on my skin too because of its sweetness sweet perfumes usually last a lot longer on your skin just because of what's in there the notes and stuff but super pretty super girly i would use this for just an everyday scent you know so i would use this like going to breakfast going to lunch with your girlfriends super cute beautiful perfume and i did get this on sale from target eight and it was i believe twenty dollars for this two fluid ounce or 1.7 fluid ounce and yeah you guys it's beautiful and i love it if you love ariana grande you should definitely check out her perfumes but yeah so this is ariana grande's ari perfume all right you guys coming up to the last two my battery is dying so i'm gonna mention them at the same time juicy couture so i am juicy couture and rihanna's rebel fleur love always this is definitely a super beautiful seductive scent and this one is a more vanilla-y mature gourmand scent so i would definitely check these out if you like them this one is i believe was 50 dollars, and i got this with a lotion it was like a value pack which is crazy because this is like the two fluid ounce or three fluid ounce 3.4 fluid ounce and this one you guys i got from target it was ten dollars and i love these two as well so again you guys this is juicy couture's I am Juice Couture and Rihanna's Rebel Floor Love Always. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like these kind of videos, these perfume fragrance kind of videos. I love them. I was always a fragrance lover since I was young. And yeah, so I hope you guys like them and check them out for yourselves. I'll leave all the descriptions and the notes as well as links for the perfumes that I bought down in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!